Hola guys, welcome to Chris Tech Rants. In this video, I'd be ranting about how to fix the problem where your computer freezes every time you're watching movies from Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, or any of the, you know, video streaming services. Um, yeah, before I proceed, timestamp in the time bar below. Description will be in the description field. Feel free to skip ahead for portions you'd be more interested in. For context guys, the reason I decided to make this video, I was actually experiencing the same if not similar problem when I first got my laptop a few weeks back. Now my laptop has two GPUs, an integrated AMD Radeon 780M and an RTX 4070 graphics, discrete graphics. And my laptop is configured in a way if it's connected directly to a power source, it'll be using the RTX 4070. And by doing that, I'm partially able to resolve the problem at the very least able to isolate the problem the problem being the AMD Radeon 780M this uh, integrated graphics now to fully resolve it I had to reinstall not just reinstall make a full install of the 780M graphics driver now by doing that I was actually able to fully resolve the problem you may have a different setup where you might actually have a desktop instead of a laptop or you might have only one GPU, doesn't matter. Uh, it's worth trying this solution out. It's fairly simple anyway. Now, without further ado, let's move on on how to make a full install of the graphics drivers. So you guys may have two GPUs or only one. In any case, we'll be starting with the NVIDIA GPU driver first. Now on the lower right side of your screen, there should be an NVIDIA icon, the green icon there. Right click on that, choose NVIDIA GeForce Experience this should open the geforce experience software now if you don't have this nor the icon no problem no problem we'd be downloading the driver directly from the website otherwise click on the geforce experience software and on the top left or right next to home click on drivers check for updates now if you're already on the latest driver you won't be able to download it from there we'd have to go to the website we'll, we'll get into that later on and not because you're on the latest driver you shouldn't be getting the problem the thing here guys is if windows updates in the background is downloading or installing a driver and you're installing another driver at the same time sometimes it causes conflicts and corrupts the file so performing a clean a full clean install may resolve the problem now if you do have the option to download it from that GeForce Experience software. Now go ahead and do so. Uh, we'll be in the same window later on anyway. So if you don't have that option, uh, let's go to the website and download it. Link in the description field below. And let me just open the site here real quick. Official drivers. Now click on. Now I have a laptop and RDX 4070 laptop GPU game game ready driver version and click on download open the file and click on yes and then extract the file and let it do its thing now in this window, we have two options, NVIDIA Graphics Driver and GeForce Experience or the driver only. Now me personally, I prefer the first option where it also installs the GeForce Experience. It makes updating the driver a lot easier, but some users doesn't really like the GeForce Experience. If you're one of them, you could choose the second option and click on agree and continue. Now in this next window, if you downloaded the driver update through GeForce Experience earlier, uh, we'd be in the same window right now. Uh, so in this window, we have two options. Be sure to click on the custom advanced option and click on next. Now in this window, just tick all the boxes, especially the most bottom one, perform a clean install. Uh, a clean installation this ensures a full clean installation will be done now I don't have any issues with my current driver so I will click on cancel in your case just click on next 
and uh, finish the process if it asks you to restart the system uh, let it restart your system and yeah if you only have one GPU and it's an NVIDIA GPU uh, that hopefully it resolves the problem but if you have another GPU that's AMD uh, we'll get into that one next so for the AMD GPU driver on the bottom right side of your screen you should have the adrenaline software open that the red icon and on the top right the gear wheel there click on that and in this window uh, you could update the software here or the driver here or if you don't have that option uh, we'd have to download the driver directly from the website more on that later on but if you have the option to update the driver using this software that's the best option because it ensures compatibility with your system especially if it's a laptop now if it's not letting you do it uh, similar to my case when i first got my laptop it won't let me download the driver update using this software so i downloaded it uh, off the website instead now but again guys if you can download the driver from here go ahead and do so and we'd eventually end up in the same window later on now if you don't have the option uh, let's go and open the website link in the description field below There you go, open that. There you go, and download the software. Now, this is what I was referring to earlier. Um, this option here, uh, auto detect and install driver updates for AMD Radeon series, graphics, and Ryzen chipsets. Uh, we'd want to use the auto detect option this ensures compatibility with the system especially especially if you have a laptop or a pre-built system this would be the same as though we're downloading it off the adrenaline software so download that open the file click on yes extract the file let it do its thing if you downloaded the driver update using the adrenaline software, we should be on the same window now uh, as soon as you open it or launch it. Now on the top right, uh, it recommends adrenaline 24.3.1 install repair. Make sure you're on this one there. Make sure you're on the recommended one rather. And click on additional options. This will give us uh, another option to factory reset it. Make sure it's on full install and tick the box for factory reset to make sure it performs a full clean installation. Now I no longer have any issues with my GPU, AMD GPU driver so I will click on cancel. You on the other hand, click on next and finish the installation process. Uh, if it asks you to restart, go ahead and restart and hopefully that should resolve the problem. Now, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, refer to the timestamp time bar below, description in the description field for the timestamp. And if you have an Intel GPU, I'm sorry guys, uh, it's not here in this video. If you have an Intel GPU and if you're having problems, feel free, feel free to comment in the section field below. Uh, hopefully I could help out. And yeah so just finish the installation process so there you have it i hope i was able to help someone out if not feel free to comment in the section field below uh let's see what we can do i will try to help out further some of the other users might be able to help out worth a try and yeah hope you enjoy the video as always see you in the next one